Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing the quarantine video about the advice uh, for what you're going through and also the blessings afterwards, okay? So I got inspired uh, with this video from another YouTuber called Blathaby. She is also doing tarot and things like that. She, I will link her video down below. But it got me inspired and I obviously don't want to do this video to get views or anything like that or I don't even like the word quarantine. I don't even think it's the right word to really explain what we're going through. I just feel like it's kind of going inward and really protecting ourselves. But I really feel like this video is going to help a lot of you guys. So that's why I'm going to do it. I want to give you some advice. I want to help you through this process because I know it can be really jarring, really uncomfortable. And also I'm going to have blessings and things that to look forward to afterwards as well. So we have group number one with the pyrite, group number two with the rose quartz and group number three with the garnet. So please choose your group and let's get started with this reading. So starting off with group number one with the pyrite. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you've got to look forward to and what your advice is for this time right now. So we have gorgeous pyrite. I love pyrite. So, so, so gritty. So the main message for you guys is travel. <laughs> oh my God, that's so ironic. So this is obviously going to be the blessings that's coming for you. And also for you guys, you probably want to plan things as well. So that'll be a really, really good thing for you to do. I think mainly just focusing on the positive elements is like the best thing for you to do right now. Okay, so focusing on that. Okay, um, let's see what else. Okay, so these cards we have peace and we also have aspirations so for you guys I definitely feel like journaling is going to be really good for you to kind of see okay what is there to that I can do what what can I do what are my blessings Let me just move my camera up slightly I can never get it at the right angle that will do okay so let's see what other cards we have we have soak in a bath we have forgive oh lovely a lot of heart chakra energy we have mending we then have speak your truth and luck with the ladybird. So these are really, really beautiful cards. I definitely feel like there's an energy of, okay, this is a time for me to look inwards and look at my heart energy and see where is it that I need to improve? Where is it that I need to forgive? What I think is really, really nice is we have the luck card. It says all your manifestations, positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. So you are actually going towards something really, really positive, whatever that is for you. If it's a relationship, if it's travel, if it's a holiday, that sort of thing, you are going to get there. You just need to focus on what is happening right now in terms of your own emotions, how you're dealing with it. So this airy season sounds very accurate towards this card because with airy season is we are being urge to speak our truth it's all about kind of coming out with actually what we want to say instead of like buffering and say oh no it's okay no this is you speaking your truth and forgiving yourself for maybe not speaking your truth at that time or at a certain time when you haven't you weren't like able to speak your truth okay so with this mending card I do feel like this is really really beautiful I think you're this there's going to be relationships coming into your life and a relationship if you are single and you're ex you're wanting to have that relationship and when this comes in it's going to really mend the past it's going to help you to forgive yourself and it's going to help you to bring about a really kind of calm energy to do with who you are you maybe think oh, i'm never going to trust anyone again like it's never going to happen this is this person coming in and helping you it could even be a friendship you could have less kind of um you could have less kind of trust in a relationship as a friendship it might not even be a relationship but this person coming in is going to help you to mend that, okay? You're also mending a lot of past relationships as well. You're healing a lot of that energy. So you just got to be really kind to yourself. And maybe being near water is the best thing for you. If you can go to anywhere near water, definitely do that. Obviously, I know it's quite hard at the moment. But if you live near water, that's even better. So for you guys, there is obviously a lot of luck coming in. I'm going to have a look at, into this card specifically because this is extremely positive. I mean, all of these are very positive. I think you're, as we're kind of in a still moment, you're really able to look into what is there that needs to be forgiven this is really hopeful because the more you forgive the more you're able to move forward and the more you're able to manifest what is it that you want you do have a lot of aspirations you do have a lot of kind of energy the way you you can see where it is that you want to go it's just actually getting to that place okay so we're going to kind of see what this luck is about let's have a look and see sometimes the cards take a little while to come out so just bear with bear with yes exactly what did i just say friendship exactly so this could be even a this could be a friendship that turns into a partner as well 
beautiful and then we also have choice so you are going to have choice you are going to have choice you may feel like oh my god Vicky I have no choice whatsoever it may be that even before everything that happened in terms of the virus you may have felt like you 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 didn't even have any choice back then it may not have actually affected you that much in terms of this um, but you are going to have much more choice. You're going to feel like you're not blinded anymore. You're not going to feel like there's roadblocks constantly in your way. Ooh, egotism. Okay, so this actually, I feel, is actually quite a positive card. Normally, I see this as very weird imagery. Kind of reminds me of, like, somebody you hate, and then you turn them into, like, a really ugly animal. <laughs> and it's like, it turns up in your dream or something. I don't know. But um, maybe the way you see somebody you really don't like, like an ex or something. I don't know. But it does feel like you are moving away from this. You're moving away from, oh my God, I can't do that. No, it's never going to happen to me. You are moving away. You're shifting away from that. Number five as well. This is to do with Mars in Leo. So it's going to be quite an aggressive energy. So if you are feeling quite aggressive, you just got to be really kind to yourself and have empathy. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of kindness coming in. You may be wanting a dog as well. I do see that coming in also. As I do feel like there's going to be communication for you guys as well because we have the bird and it's like coming towards the ear. You could also be um, buying some earrings as well for yourself. Okay, let's see what else we have. I'm going to pull a couple of tarot cards as well. Okay, oh, quarrel. Okay, so... This could be, I feel like, is your masculine and your feminine kind of coming together. It could be that you're quarrelling with people in your house as well. But I do feel like it's you kind of understand, look, this is, we just need to keep calm, okay? Keep calm and carry on. That's what I'm hearing. But um, it is, you definitely connect with your root and your crown, which is very strong. This very, you grounding yourself within this energy. Um, yeah, we have appreciation. There's definitely an energy of appreciating everything that you have right now and knowing that everything will get better things will unravel in the best way okay so let's pull a couple of tarot cards and then we'll finish the reading so let's see what else we have for group number one i'm seeing a girl like a little girl and she's holding a lollipop and she's just like licking and eating this lollipop and feeling really content and happy she you know when you just give kids sweets and they just kind of go off and just eat it on their own they're really quiet beautiful <laughs> This is that energy. That is this Ace of Cups. It's like, I'm very content. I'm very, very happy. Okay. I love the Ace of Cups. This is why I just bring it, love to bring in the tarot at the end because it just kind of wraps everything up. And the Ace of Cups is a really beautiful energy. Ace of Cups is my absolute favourite card. Being the water sign that I am, I love anything that's to do with water. So we have the Page of Wands. There's definitely some sort of new person coming in. Can be a fire sign um but look you have choice i feel like you have choice you can have so much energy this is that sun card i was actually feeling a lot of energy for you in terms of fiery energy as well like newness coming in yeah exactly travel i do feel travel for you i do feel like you may want to move different to a different country as well and that could happen if that's something that you want to do that's going to be what's going to happen beautiful you standing in your power girl i love it love it we then have the um six of wands in reverse six of swords sorry so this is understanding that things happen for a reason and it's okay and we're all going to be absolutely fine, okay? So thank you so much for watching this reading. If you want a private reading, all the information is down below. And please stay safe, guys. Look after yourselves. Don't worry, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. you just got to stay calm, really be in your own lane. Take your time out, like almost like if you can go for a walk, go for a walk. That's really, really going to help you, okay? Because stuck in the house can be very, very overwhelming. And that's the main element. It's not even being in the house. I think it's actually, actually being stuck in the house and not even to the fact that you can't go out. I think it's literally just being in the house all like all the time can be just be restricting, you know? Not even the restrictions that, the, that everyone's put on us. It's mainly about, okay, what can I do in this space right now, okay? So... I also recommend acknowledging and releasing your emotions. You say, I acknowledge part of me feeling the emotion and then about whatever it's about. And then you say, I, ch I and I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And you put your hand in your heart, take a deep breath in. And then you look kindly at yourself and look at my right shoulder or you look wherever you want to look. And then you look at yourself like you would a puppy and you're like, look, it's okay. We can do this. I got this. We got this. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what your energy is around the rose quartz. I'm going to put you next to another rose quartz. I love rose quartz, as you can tell. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. We have Jade, Good Luck, Heart Chakra. So we're going to... Oh, these always fall down. I'm going to see... Um, 
obviously of into the blessings and some advice we're gonna have a look at both of those we have protection root chakra obsidian that's a lovely card okay let's see what else we have see which one i'm being drawn to blessed <laughs> look how lovely that is <clears throat> excuse me number 22 lovely so if you're looking out for number 22 that is your sign right there so we have self-worth lovely i love this card i think it's so 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 beautiful so we have self-worth we have squirrel spiritual maintenance be your own caretaker but listen up you are working through deep soul patterns release any outdated beliefs that surface we then have sync with the moon plan a vacation and we also have prosperity and abundance wow they're literally like the same word basically we're gonna have a look into other cards as well so basically you guys i feel like are probably the easiest energy I've, i'm feeling i feel like you guys are very much on top of your energy i'm i'm feeling that very strongly i think for you guys you're really understanding that this is a time for going inward you are understanding that your self-worth is the most important thing and you are taking care of yourself if you're not taking care of yourself if you are neglecting yourself maybe you're overworking yourself if you're working from home or whatever you're doing make sure to look after yourself because it's really really important otherwise you can't help anyone else and and you are the most important person in your own life okay so we also have listen up uh bats are to, bats actually is so funny i definitely like this group is, is is my group because i was running a few days ago and i saw i asked for a message from the universe and a bat literally th flew over my head it was crazy it was absolutely beautiful i love bats i think they're so cute so it's, it's funny because a lot of people are scared of bats and they think they are oh, like a really bad omen but they're actually really really good they're actually a new start they're shedding old wounds and they're basically as, say, as it says here releasing out any outdated beliefs that surface so you may be releasing an ex maybe releasing anything that you've put on yourself restrictions diet anything like that that has stopped you from being your full potential so this is really really beautiful you are definitely in the zone of the heart chakra and also the root chakra so that's a really interesting dynamic because you're rooting yourself but also you're opening your heart chakra it's really important to root yourself as well if you don't feel rooted if you don't feel grounded if you feel anxiety if you feel scared really really important for you to ground yourself okay and you can do this by going outside if you have a garden putting your feet in the grass um even having a plant near you touching the plant but even putting your hands in soil which i know sounds a bit weird but very very good also just to ground yourself imagine roots going from your feet into the ground um going through the floor into the ground i actually see it tying around the core so i know obviously we all have our different kind of things but that helps me to kind of get really really rooted you know um yeah i feel like that's really really lovely and having obsidian near you as well guys so if you ever want a piece of jewelry with any of these crystals on just let me know you can email me or you can instagram message me all the information is down below and i do crystal jewelry hopefully i'll be uh releasing my etsy store soon so you guys can actually purchase some of these necklaces and things so blessed is a really really beautiful energy i'm gonna have a look into that in terms of um what it actually says in the book sorry guys. i'm wearing my, my uh, dressing gown today because i'm freaking cold <laughs> It's freaking cold today. It's so strange. So, 22. I'm hearing listen up. It was clean it up. But I'm actually hearing listen up. So, I'm hearing listen up. So, I feel like there's definitely somebody trying to get a message through to you. Something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected. Grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit. That is so nice. I'm going to read just this little bit of a paragraph. Um, there, are no, there are moments in life when out of the blue, it seems everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You know deep down you did not deserve any of it and yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let, let awe and gratitude for all of your blessings guide you now. And we also have abundance and prosperity and that's pretty much about what this is going on. And then relationship message says you are moving towards a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union blessed by the divine will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign, even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. And it says unexpected windfalls and good, good fortune come your way now. Uh, you're in a place where any difficulties or obstacles that have stemmed that has stymied your success seem to disappear on their own 
uh, be ready to receive. So this is really, really lovely because 22, I actually got the message that number two was the relationship message for me as well. Sorry guys, I keep talking about, talking about myself, but I do feel like this is very accurate for me as well. So obviously it's gonna resonate with some of you guys. So there's definitely an element of you're gonna feel blessed in your relationships. That's what's gonna happen for you guys. If you don't feel like anything's coming towards you in terms of relationships, that is definitely coming for you. Those of you who are in relationships, you're gonna feel much more comfortable with who you are. Or if you're not comfortable with where you're at or who this you're in a relationship with, you're gonna end it. I do feel like that because there is gonna be an element of this airy season is gonna push you towards who you are as a person. And if you are not happy with who you are, if you're not happy with this person in the relationship, you may have put up with it for longer, but now you're really trying to like depart from that. Obviously, if you're unhappy and you've been thinking about it for a while. So also, you guys, you could be planning a vacation. You could be thinking about travel. You could be thinking about, okay, so where's the next country I want to go to? This is the this is the energy that the universe wants you to be in. They want you to be in a really, really <clears throat> light-hearted energy. I always see the squirrel as like an Aries energy as well. They're always doing something and they always lose their nuts. <laughs> okay, not to say you're nutty, guys, or you're crazy, but they always lose their nuts. Like they bury them and then they never know where they are. And they're like literally scurrying around trying to find their nuts because that's literally what squirrels do it's so funny um i don't know if you guys have ever seen it but it's really cute so sometimes it can feel like you have man you've put your seed out there you've put that kind of you've asked for it but where is it where is it you're kind of like i don't know where it is where it is i feel like for you guys you may have felt very trapped and you may feel very trapped right now but the answer is here is to just understand your own power, understand your own worth and understand what is it that I need right now. And if you can't, if you don't know what that is, maybe try something or imagine yourself doing something in your mind. What is it that thing? Is it you meditating? Is it you dancing? Is it you drinking some water? Is it uh, you with a partner? Sometimes it can just mean that you need to talk to somebody. Um, about your feelings because obviously we try to do things on our own a lot of the time and sometimes we just need someone to help us this is lovely acquisition this is just i feel very happy very very happy we have manipulation and power this is you moving away from something that no longer serves you and having the i'm hearing the audacity to move forward so somebody may have been really horrible to you about moving away from a relationship and they may have strung out the kind of card where they're like oh so you're just going to throw away everything like that and you're just like bitch yeah i am actually <laughs> and we have enthusiasm um <clears throat> sun in sag this is lovely this is basically the uh, vacation energy so let's get a couple more we have charity so somebody could be helping you out with money as well we have concentration so for a lot of you guys you are concentrating on your own self-worth you're concentrating on what it is that makes you happy and then you're just working on that and then we also have versatility so there could be you could be trying things that you've never done before okay so let's see what else we have Oh, lovely, guys. We've got the Page of Cups. How cute. So you're definitely going to have a relationship offer coming soon. I'm hearing Mercury. So Mercury is about communication. It's about um, talking. So I do feel like in speech. So there's definitely somebody coming in. If you're single, look out for that. Um, yeah. Wow. Your relationships are changing. This group. Oh, yes. I'm getting so much water from this group. So much Cancerian energy. I love it. It's, it's just so, so, so lovely. Getting a lot of Cancerian, a lot of Aries, a lot of Leo Sag energy from this group. Obviously, you don't have to be that. But we also do have Leo. So definitely recognizing what is kind of not working in your life anymore. Oh, my God. And you have the chance to let it go. Yes 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 so this is you recognizing what is what is kind of needing to let go and you're letting go of it these are two total different energies here sorry guys you can't really see that two total different energies and we also have the queen of wands beautiful power powerhouse this group wow so thank you so much for watching guys remember to stay safe i also feel for you guys you are moving into um, a really nice career <clears throat> as well that suits you you may be talking to your friends online and things like that to help you out in this time do it do what makes you feel good. Also, with Obsidian, if there's somebody in your house that you don't get on with or you're not comfortable with, um, this will protect you from that energy, for you sucking that energy in. So if you want any jewellery with this necklace on, also Black Onyx is perfect. So if you don't have that, feel free to uh, purchase from, from, my, from my store, basically. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And yeah, stay safe, guys. Really look after yourself. Know that you're very, very important. This is happening for a reason. We will get out of this. This is only temporary. And stay strong and know that this is a time to really look at our shadows. And sometimes it can be very, very hard. 
but look at all this shit you got going on afterwards this is all really really positive so you have so much to look forward to guys and you will get there okay so thank you so much for watching if you ever want a private reading all my information is down below i most likely will be doing i do lives and things like that so if you ever want a reading at a, a, a cheaper price then that is a good place to go as well and i do my live streams so thank you so much for watching obviously not all my live streams but some of them thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon love you guys bye hello group number three thank you so much for clicking on this video let's get started with this reading we have the lovely garnet this is really good for relationships helps you to stay calm it helps you to not brush things really good for commitment so that's going to be really really good for you guys so let's see what your blessings are let's see for your advice let's see what's going on okay we have ooh, dioptas direction heart chakra lovely i definitely feel that noise i make that ooh, definitely going to be my thing because <laughs> i keep doing it it's suddenly come around in airy season. I don't know what it is, but I think it's definitely a big thing for me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I need to cough. So we have to the sea. And we also have passion. Ooh, lovely. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> okay. So we also have raven, a wise woman, a change is coming. Kundalini rising. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. We then have rest. Serenity, truth, appreciation. So let me put these here because you can't really see. So this is really lovely. This is basically saying that you guys are probably the most, I think you guys need to be the most kinder to yourself, this group. I think you guys need to slow down. Okay. And I know it's really, really hard because we're stuck indoors and also it's airy season, which is pushing us to places we don't want to go to <laughs> in, in terms of letting go of things um moving forward when we can't move forward it's all that energy this is why airy i reckon that's why it's happened in airy season because we're being forced to really look at our shit you know this passion is really really beautiful this is showing me that you guys are really in your sacral chakra which is your creativity which is your the things you really really love you're going in the direction of your heart chakra your blessing i feel like is whatever you're working on right now is going to be very very you're accomplishing much more higher things when you come out of it you're also going for a very strong spiritual awakening and for a lot of you guys you could be opening an online store you could be um thinking about a new job as well and you're thinking about okay where is this direction taking me a lot of you guys do need to rest though you could be working too hard you could be thinking a lot you're going through a massive awakening here and you're becoming a lot more wiser because of it and you're obviously not saying you're not wise but you are becoming much more wise because of it and you're really um learning to appreciate what you have right now um the serenity is really lovely what it is with the rest that is really really lovely i think for some of you there's kind of two energies one of them is rest and one of them is work on your passions it could be both of them together for you guys but I do definitely feel like, well, I just came out my body and I went back in it. That was fun. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. When I get so much into a reading, I just literally just leave my body and then come back in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to ground myself, man. I need to ground myself. So I'm going to grab my pyrite and ground myself. So for you guys, it's really, really important for you to understand that you are going in the right direction. And we have direction and to the sea. And this is like directing it towards the heart. So you could be just really working on what you love. Um, it could be that you're learning how to love yourself through this process as well. But resting is so important, okay? Because a lot of us could be really, really tired as well because this energy is so potent at the moment. Not even with the virus, like that's just along with it. It's just the energy is so potent for change that it can really knack you out. And you're thinking, why am I so tired? It can be because you're having a diet change. You may need to change your diet, but things like that. That there's definitely an energy of um things massive things shifting so if you need to take a nap guys friggin do it because that's going to really help you to become more um calmer and i think it's going to help with anxiety as well we have vision lovely so for a lot of you guys you do know where you want to go it could be if you don't know where you want to go i think it's really important for you to maybe make a mood board journal that sort of thing but there is definitely a sexual energy with you guys we have lust and inspiration i actually think if you are uh, quarantined, I don't like the word quarantine, it has a very negative ring to it. If you are at your home <laughs> with someone who's a partner, I think you could actually get quite a lot of inspiration by having like 
you know intimate times with them you could be kind of having some sort of revelation about your intimate life in terms of okay what is it that I actually want out of my life um what is it I want to create and you're feeling much more inspired by just working on yourself I think you this because this energy is so potent it's really giving us a chance to look at ourselves in a way that maybe we haven't been able to do that before we have riches exactly so there's something that you're very passionate about and I think it's gonna as I say it's gonna cause you to have a really good um sense of direction with that you're actually gonna most likely have a job out of whatever this is that you're interested in it can even be like um a, a counsellor but like to do with relationships to do with intimacy that kind of thing I'm really trying to avoid saying the word um the three letters <laughs> okay because I don't want to get demonetized so uh, yeah so adaptability intuition and we also have um innovation oh that's so perfect for this innovation charity and concentration there's definitely an element of I'm going to focus on this until I get somewhere with it I definitely feel that for you guys. I'm sorry if you can't see this. My angle of the camera is very strange at the moment. I can't seem to get the angle right. So we also have concentration as well. So you're definitely concentrating on something and you keep working on things and keep doing that. Okay, they're, they're saying keep doing that. Wow, look how much power you have. I love that. You're thinking so much into this. You're thinking there's so much I could do. What? Where should I start, you know? And it can come out of literally you maybe doing some intimate things with yourself. It can be doing some yoga can be doing dance and it could come out of absolutely nowhere it can be also working out if you guys need to work out and exercise definitely do that exercise will help so freaking much with this energy okay because it will help shift a lot of that aries energy and a lot of the time is i feel like with aries energies you can have a massive spurt of energy then it kind of goes so if you can utilize that energy that comes in and do something with it if, if you feel the need to then definitely do that okay so we have the page of swords Let's see what else this is very similar energy of to the sea very similar energy of i can feel something coming i'm hearing the song i feel it coming that one by the weekend i really feel that wow yeah definitely some sort of relationship as well so if you guys are wanting to have a relationship that is going to start to come in because you are working on yourself you're being innovative as to what is it that i can bring in for myself and then therefore because you're working on yourself you're going to be really really happy okay so you may feel a little bit anxious right now it's going to be okay guys what's the most important thing is to focus on the now right this second what is happening right now it's nice and quiet you know and if you can't get quiet maybe go for a walk if you can or get some noise cancelling headphones because i'm really tempted to do that because sometimes my neighbors are very loud so it's very uncomfortable not gross loud but like shouty loud um so we also have the nine of wands as well nine of cups and nine of wands is interesting because maybe you're going to get an opportunity and you may think oh i don't deserve this you freaking deserve this you freaking freaking deserve this look at that that's you taking the opportunity really take i'm hearing taking it by storm i love that that's so lovely we also have oh lovely six of six of cups doing something that you've always wanted to do starting something new starting like a like a childlike dream that you've always wanted to do doing things that make you that light you up that make you feel really good this is a lot of this energy is just needing to come out like it's so much around your heart and your soul and your sacral chakra it's just beaming to come out like it's ready to pop basically almost like a, a birth basically and it's kind of looks like a birthing you know so it could be some a lot of subconscious energy is being brewed and it's like st stagnant you really need to like shift it somehow it, whether it's being creative whether it's keeping your mind busy by doing something in the house whether it's um doing some intimate time with yourself whether it's talking to somebody uh exercising anything like that even going outside if you can in nature in your garden anything like that so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you stay safe make sure you just look after yourself you are the most important person you are here for a reason if you weren't here right now then you know you're obviously here for a reason and um my man lee harris on youtube i love him he's great he said that basically our our bodies are so fragile because basically our soul could leave at any point like that and the reason why it doesn't is because you're meant to be here okay so i know it can be really shitty and uncomfortable guys but you just got to do what's best for you what is it that you need right now keep checking in with yourself and if you need some space from yourself maybe go outside and if you can just go for a run go for a walk walk your dog anything like that and 
you really just got to be conscious, sorry guys, conscious of how much energy you're putting into others and how much energy you're putting into yourself, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this crystal and you want this into a necklace, please let me know. Um, I do crystal recommendation necklaces along with my private readings. I do those in private readings as well. So if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. Stay safe, guys. I love you. Please look after yourself. And yeah, be happy because there's a lot of good stuff coming towards you after this after this massive situation. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.